Our friends and family of a missing Prince George's County teacher will come together for a vigil. Mariam Ture Sela vanished Saturday after going for a walk in her Greenbelt neighborhood. Scott Broom is in Greenbelt's Shrom Hills Park where people are gathering right now to keep her name out there. Scott? Well, they're working hard at it. You can see just about every tree in this park here in Greenbelt has her poster on it. They'll be getting together about six o'clock tonight. Uh, you know, throughout the week, this has just been a very difficult case, in part because an unidentified body had been found on the Beltway near Forestville earlier in the week by Maryland State Police. Now, state police have not released the identity uh, of their investigation in that case, but today, police here in Greenbelt finally put to rest once and for all that they do not believe that, that there is any evidence that that body is Miss Scylla. There is nothing that would make us believe that's our person, a Greenbelt police spokesman told WUSA 9 today. A short time ago, I talked to one of the organizers of tonight's vigil for Scylla here at Shrom Hills Park. This is Melinda Conrad Brown, whose child is a student that, um, that was being taught by Ms. Scylla. And we were all grateful, but we're also very like, she's still out there somewhere, you know, so we've got to find her. We have to do what we have to do to make sure that not just Prince George's County, people are familiar and aware, but you know, the whole D.C., Washington, you know, Washington, Virginia, everybody, because she could be anywhere. Mariam Ture Silla is a beloved teacher at Prince George's County's Dora Kennedy French Immersion School, where she's taught for 15 years. Kids are traumatized by her disappearance, according to Conrad Brown. According to Greenbelt Police, Silla was reported missing Saturday evening by a friend when she did not return from a walk in her neighborhood right across Hanover Parkway from the Schramm Hills Park. A devout Muslim, originally from Ivory Coast, Scylla was expected to be back for evening prayer and never came home. The park is now plastered with missing posters, and the area has been searched by authorities and volunteers with no results. After nearly a week of investigation, Greenbelt police are not sharing any theories they may be working on, saying simply they are considering every possibility, including foul play, even though they don't have any evidence of that so far. So again, people gathering here tonight, grateful that Greenbelt police are now saying that that as yet identified body that was found on the Beltway earlier this week, they do not believe is Miss Scylla. Uh, they're going to gather here tonight to try to refocus attention on this case. Uh, there'll be a vigil here at 6 p.m. Uh, Miss Scylla, a, a beloved teacher in this community at the French Immersion School, a big impact on a lot of people over her 15 year career. So we've got a lot of people out here tonight who are worried and really want answers. Reporting live in Greenbelt, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Holding on to hope, continuing to say her name and keeping her in all of our thoughts and in the attention of everybody. Let's hope for the best possible outcome here. Scott, thank you.